Welcome to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games. And often in turn-based combat games, you just end up kind of rushing and running straight at the enemy and just hitting it with your sword or your spells because you can. But what if there is another way? Today we're going to play Alder's Blood, which is a turn-based combat stealth game that focuses on killing your enemies through stealth. So, this game comes out in the full release on 10th of April and I was lucky enough to get a pre-release version. So big thank you to the developers for that. And now let us begin. I'm going to be playing with the tutorial because I do want to show off the story and kind of the whole thing. This game is pretty big, so we might do a full series on it, but there are some other games we could do a series on as well. So there will be a, a link in the comments or possibly the description as well, so that you can vote which games you want me to make a longer series on. All right, so now let's start this. Is there a crime more reviled than the slaughter of kin? What about the slaughter of a god? The rotting corpse of our father curses these lands. It must be done. I will reckon with the consequences in time. Finally, my search leads me to a hilltop riddled with shrines. The crown. This is where it all ends. All right, it's time to begin. Atonement. At last the crown is in sight. My journey's end draws near. Just a stretch more road to take, along with the lives of the last few creatures she hides. Then we shall rest, father. Then we shall have peace. All right, so the way the movement works is that you can move freely within the white area that you're going to see of the character. You can move multiple times, so I can move this way and then I can move again. The tutorial won't allow me to do it right now, it only allows me to go there, but he could do it in multiple movements. Here you have HP and here you have stamina. Stamina is a really important part of this game, and I'll talk more about it in a second. Be wise to avoid unwanted attention. These patches of tall grass should conceal me well enough. Right, so at the moment you can see that um, when, when I hover over thing, this is yellow, which means that uh, nobody actually sees me there right now, but it's not hidden. And this is going to turn into purple and means that you're hidden. And I said this is a stealth game, so being hidden is a big part of the game. One clean shot should put the creature down, albeit loudly. I pray none of its allies lurk nearby. Alright, so this is important. You've got weapons and the weapon has sort of like a sound effect and essentially if you do it too loudly you can kill off enemies. You also have melee weapons to do silent kills if you'd like. But here we're supposed to use a ranged weapon. So we're going to shoot at this enemy over here, the young shrieker. So we're going to use the loud shot and you can see the sound distance is 7, the damage, the range and the stamina cost. So we're going to shoot at it. And we insta killed it. Very nice. Now, what's important in this game is that um, there is no like action limit for a turn. Like typically in other games, you have like one action per turn, like one shot or two movement max. You can have any kind of movement as long as you have the stamina for it. So if I move within this yellow, sorry, in within this white area, it's not going to cost me mana, but I'm going to move out of it, which means it's going to cost me stamina. So as you can see here, it's going to cost me one stamina to move over there. And I can continue my turn however long I want. But if you run... The wind wheels against me. Any closer and this brute will catch my scent. Perhaps if I'm swift, I can make enough ground to shake the trail before he finds it. If you run out of stamina, you become down, which means that you lose an entire turn. Now, what this tutorial is telling us was about scent. So essentially here you have the wind orientation and you have the scent over here. And uh, if you stand, for example, if you were to stand here, even though we are hidden, the scent would sort of uh, alert the enemy and the enemy would come to us. So we're going to have to run here. You can see that this is going to cost us two extra stamina to get there. And you can see because the scent moved him, it kind of activated him. So we might go back and check it out. Beasts are simple. The throwing pebble is strong enough to sneak past. You have infinite amount of pedals, which is quite nice, and you can throw them wherever you want. We can throw them over here. Now you can see this red area that determines like um, who is going to hear it, essentially. Right. 
I'm gonna run away. Uh, as you can see already through the tutorial, they're not killing every enemy, and that's again, that's a pretty big part of the game that you don't need to fight off everyone. I we're gonna end the turn so that we can catch up with the stamina. And by the way, we're gonna be playing a little bit of a challenge this week. I'm gonna try to talk slow because I talk too fast in my videos. And a way to sort of gamify it and to make it more fun is I thought you guys could give me a rating in the comments. One mean that I talk as fast as always, which is not great. And 10 means that I talk at the perfect speed. So give me a comment below so we can do it better. And we're gonna be playing this for about a week. So let's have some fun. Almost to the top. This clearing swarms with fiends. Perhaps a quiet approach is ideal. I should ready my blade before moving in. Okay. All right, so we're gonna switch to our other weapon. We're gonna switch to our melee weapon and we're gonna go ah, behind him. a fine opening for my rapier. I should press the advantage while its back is exposed. Okay. Now backstabbing is really, really good because it allows you to down the enemy, which means they will not have a turn. Which is super important. Nice. My ambush has brought the beast to its knees. It is vulnerable to banishing. Not the most elegant solution, but I have little choice. And the way the banishing works is that banishing allows you to like destroy a downed enemy entirely, so you don't need to care about its HP. However, it first of all like, it drains three tabs of stamina for you, and it's going to corrupt you a little bit. However, regular attacking enemies also corrupt you, so uh, you know, it's maybe not that bad. Have you banished him? Ugh, my skin crawls. Such rituals invoke the darkness too intimately for my liking. The deed is done, and my destination is close at hand. And I'm gonna run away. Now keep in mind that this guy is Duke. The summit. I'm here at long last, father. Now where are... This is gonna be important for the following story. Hmm. Alright, welcome to Elder's Blood. Greetings, Hunter. Welcome to the crowd and welcome to Elder's Blood. From here on out, you will play as chief, the leader of a small hunting company. Your party is loyal to you and they will trust their lives in your hands. It will be by the work of your orders whether they found valor or death on the battlefield. It was three months ago, Duke left, suddenly without a word, note or a warning. We don't know why, but we know this land is cruel. He won't make it far on his own, and I won't lose him now. For weeks we were stalked in his tracks, and they led us to a desolate hill in the exile's waste, a place called the Crown. What did Duke hope to find there, other than a pile of weathered stones? Chief? Should we set up camp here, Chief? Yes, but send Raynor on lookout duty. We're strangers in the waste and don't need any surprises. How's Damn Hugo? It. No good, Chief. The corruption spreads within him, but he's still with us. Keep an eye on him, oh, yeah. alright? Will do, Chief. Alright, so Caravan of Hunters. Right now we're moving to the Exile's Waste. Along this journey lies behind you in a litany of unknowns ahead. It would be wise to set up camp. Okay, we can do that. Alright, so we're in camp now. We've got all of our people. So first thing we can do is we can move towards the camping task and we can give everybody a task. So currently we have Rainer um, guarding. And uh, Maxwell, Eaton are resting, and Hugo's resting as well. Actually, we're, Hugo is ca crafting, but currently we don't have set up anything to craft, so we can just make him rest. We could also try to scavenge. You can see the potential results, which at the moment are zero, because we're not supposed to do that. Now, before we're going to do that, what I want to do is I want to change my characters. So... I can pick my characters here, and I'm going to change them. So first of all, the boss is... Hugo, no, is, is Ethan, right? Yeah. A process of elimination, the boss is Ethan, so we're gonna change his name to Sam. Sam Gray. And uh, do we wanna look different? I think we might wanna look a little bit different. Let's make him, oh, I kinda like this one. Let's make him look like this. Ooh, this is pretty interesting. I like this one. Hunter color, can we get something orange? I guess the red is the best. Let's stick to that. 
All right, so we're gonna be this guy, Sam Gray, that's me, with my regular voice. Then we're gonna have our other guy, so we're gonna pick, we're gonna check them out. We've got Renorid, uh, Doset, his weapons are a large hunter rifle and a hunter's knife. He has really good movement, so he's fairly quick. So we're gonna call this guy Arcus Doset. And he's going to be blue because I like blue for movement, so let's stick with that. That's good. Next up, instead of Maxwell Blair, we're gonna have... What is your... Your stamina is 40 and Hugo's stamina is... 40 as well. All right, so instead of Hugo, we're gonna have... Um, we're gonna have Robert. Robert David. And yeah, oh, actually you should probably be a bit more different looking. Yeah, you're gonna be blue as well because uh, the portrait is blue. It's gonna be like a dark blue. And finally, not Maxwell Blair, but Xamex Blair. Ooh, I like with the green look. He looks pretty cool. I like him. I like this one. Xamex Blair, off we go. And Xamex actually only has a melee weapon, which is fitting for us because we always have a story that um, Xamex is the melee fighter. I do want to check out this. Oh, and his throw throwing knives are amazing because they allow you to hit the enemies for quite a lot of damage from a distance. It only cost half a stamina, so that's really, really good. So what we're going to do now, we're going to wait a day because that's what the tutorial wants from us. And we've already assigned a task for everybody. Essentially, everybody's resting except Arcus, I believe. Actually, yeah, Arcus, you have to go guard. Go guard. All right, nothing really interesting happened. And now we're gonna go protect, uh, find Duke. Everyone is up and ready, Chief. Good, get them settled. We will leave for the crown at once. Oh, it still says Maxwell oh, yeah. Blair, even though I changed the name. Okay. Do you think Duke would still be there? I hope against all hope, my friend. So Maxwell is Xemex, I believe. All right. So this is the map. We're supposed to move here towards the crown. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to read you about the Exos Waste a little bit. Exiles are the lowest caste of humans in society, or more precisely, outside of society. They possess no rights and bear no duties for the common good. Despite their name, the Exiles Waste are not ruled over, nor even inhabited by exiles. When a citizen is condemned to exile, he or she is thrown out into the waste to wander in solitary penance. This function alone inspired the region's correct name. Endless mounds and hills stretch in every direction toward the horizon, said to be the graves of a long-dead kingdom, but no one seems to know or care much about their history now. So let's travel to the crown. It's gonna cost us 12 food, which you can see here we have 108 food at the moment. 30 hunting materials, 10 mechanical parts, 5 ritual ingredients. Okay. I do. Chief. What? Oh. It's me, Chief. You, by the father, what happened to you? Ethan Maxwell, get under his arms. You've got to get him out of here. Oh. So tired, horse and seizing. Okay. I didn't really learn much, but okay. It was hard to look at the hollow shell that Duke has become. By the way, Xemex is reading these, not me, otherwise I would have to do it in a regular voice. Once the greatest of our kin, now a broken blind man, what horrors renders his condition so, and what fools let him ride out alone. Chief. I have to say I'm impressed, Chief. How did you find me all the way out here? Why did you leave, yes. Duke? Hasn't anyone ever told you it's unkind to answer question with a question? Yes, you did. But we could have helped you. Why did you go alone? No. No, Chief. You couldn't have helped me. You're not ready. I don't think so. You're bound by your loyalties, your responsibilities, duties, to protect the human who despises us and defend a world that plots against us. Tell me, Chief, has it ever dawned on you that we might hold a higher purpose? Our old duties were but a distraction. Master Hunters! Master Hunters! Help! Help! Master Hunters! Please, come quick! They're almost upon us! Charles, what is it? Speak clear, Beasts. boy. Beasts! Beasts have attacked the Inn King's Rest near the crossroads! Mm. Go, brother. Your duties await you. You're coming with huh. me. Huh. And what use am I in this sorry state? You're a part of this family, whether you like it or not, and I won't leave behind my own. Mm. Dear sirs. Sirs, please, we need to hurry. Lead the way, boy. Yeah, stop chit-chatting and come save us. <laughs> I like the boy, that's kind of cool. All right, unwelcome guests. So this is a mission. We have a mission briefing where we can pick what kind of characters we want to send on the journey. And we can also see the objective and rewards. All right.
So we can see the corruption. The corruption is Robert and is rising. So we might actually want to change the hunter. We could change it to me. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to go. I'm not going to sit at home and let the others fight it for me. Ooh, but Robert has the throwing knives. Oh, no, actually, actually, it was Clemix. All right. Monsters have gathered at the gates of the King's Arrest Inn. Even from afar, you can hear the banging of a hammer boarding up the windows. The men and women inside are trapped and they won't stand a chance. We are their only hope. And we can get a blueprint for hunter's pistol, hunting net, and double-barreled shotgun, experience hunting materials, and silver. So let's begin a mission. By the way, I don't know if I told you yet that, aside from regular weapons, we can also equip charms. You can own, you cannot remove a charm, you can only replace it and that will destroy the previous charm. But it gives you sort of like benefits to the character. The beasts are attacking the gate, you need to help everyone, quickly. Boy, we will not throw our lives away with the frontal assault. The beasts are many and we are but few. Target and kill the pack leaders, the rest will disperse. See these big ones? These are the ones we need to take care of. Its back is exposed. A great opportunity for a backstab. Make sure it won't see or smell us before that. Alright, we're gonna start this off with Xemex. Xemex is going to move here and he's going to hit him from behind which should make him downed. To make him downed. Alright, then we're gonna move up with Xemex and hide. Like so. And we, we actually... Do we need to use a throwing knife? I don't think so. Maybe not. Then we're gonna move with me and we're gonna hit him from behind again. Maybe we did some nice damage. And finally we're gonna move there with Arcus and hit him as well. Can we kill him now? We made him bleed but we didn't make him dead. He still has 42 HP left. So we're gonna grab me. We're gonna move upwards and we're gonna use a throwing knife to throw at him. Just 21 damage. Then we're going to do the exact same thing with Xemex because he still has one point. So it's going to go down to half a point of stamina, which is enough. Ooh, we still can't finish him off though. He's going to bleed. So we're just going to hide and he should bleed to death. Yep. All right, now we need to look for another one. But where is he? So this is just telling us that there are different kind of objectives. There can be objective to move or activate or to get somewhere or to kill enemies and things like that. Because all of our hunters have at least half a stamina left, they get all their stamina back. So we're gonna get over here. Got this little shrieker there. See that small monster? It's a shrieker. When it sees us, it will alarm the other monsters. We don't have to kill it. Distract it and focus on the brawlers. All right. So I'm gonna throw a people, let's say down here. I'm gonna try to make it go down, not up, because of the scent and of the wind. If it just, if you made it just go up. It could see it, so I'm gonna try to be hidden in here. It's a little risky, but I think it should be alright. I'm gonna follow up with our other people as much as we can. I might throw another pebble this way just to really make sure that the Shrieker goes there. I hope it hurt it the first time around. Yeah, it's going that way, that's good. We need to make it go one more time down. Okay, perfect. It's going by itself so we can run upstairs and relax. So we gotta do that now. Right. We're gonna run, let's say, there. Actually, we're gonna run only this way first. Because we can keep moving through the hidden areas if we wanted to. We should be able to hide. Actually, let me throw a pebble that way just to make sure they're both turned the other way. And then we're gonna run here to hide. Good, we're gonna wait there. Then we're gonna grab Arcus, who's going to run this way. And then also that way. And then finally Xemex is going to do a similar thing. Run like that. Also, uh, Xemex should throw a pebble this way to make sure that this... Oh, actually I should have made it the other way so that the Shrieker would go away from the other ones. And we're gonna make him go this way. So we're all hidden up here. Let's see how they move. Whoa! They move pretty close to me but they still can't see me because I'm pretty well hidden. They're all moving close to me, which is not ideal. Need to get rid of this shrieker here. Unfortunately. You could try to kill it. But then the other one would see us. Actually, unless we make him turn. Right, let's throw a people this way. Make him turn. Then we could throw a people... Um, Okay, we're gonna do it different. We're gonna throw one here. 
they're all gonna turn right then we're gonna throw one here so this guy should turn that way good and then we're gonna throw one this way so that this big monster is also going to turn good they're all turn then i'm going to move grab xamex and i'm going to do a crushing blow at this young shrieker it's dead and then i could actually fight this guy but we wouldn't be able to kill off this guy so it's kind of risky so let's just go back and hide i think we're gonna wait one more turn shrieker move that way that's good it's moving back though we might need to uh, i would like to not kill it but we'll see how we can do it yeah we should be able to kill this big guy now i think Especially if you make this Shrieker turn away. Right. Because we're doing it all at Silent Weapon, so we should be okay. So let's throw a people down this way to make sure that this Shrieker turns away. Good. Then I'm going to grab another people and throw it this way. Good. I'm going to take Xemex and I'm going to use a Crushing Blow... ...like that. Wait, if I just move regularly, I don't think the Shrieker will see me. Alright, this guy is downed. Then I'm going to use a throwing knife at that. No, I misclicked that. I didn't mean to do it. Well, in that case, we're going to have to go back to hide. Yeah, the Shrieker can now see me. This was a, this was a problem. I didn't mean to shoot at this. But it doesn't matter because there are no more enemies, so it's okay. So in that case, I should go down here and just kill this Shrieker. Nice. And because we already elected everybody, we could use... Actually, you don't have a regular shot anyway. Could you move there and do banishing? You are incapable of banishing? What's up? You. Let's move this way. Yeah, you could just banish him. So you banish him. Instantly kill down target. Do it. Arc is going to banish him. And we did it. Well done. With the pack leader slain, the rest of the pack will surely disperse. Mission successful. Attacking idle enemies from behind with a small weapon will immediately knock them down. Alright, so we've got some rewards. We've got uh, blueprint for hunter's pistol, hunting net, double barreled shotgun, and a couple of silver hunting materials and experience. With the last brawl dead, the rest of the monsters ran away as expected. Soon after, the inn's gate opened up, and we were greeted at the gate by a woman with a shotgun in her hands. By the looks of it, it was not the first time she had to use it. She wasn't happy about it. This is going to be interesting. Finally. Finally. Someone with a head on his shoulders. Please, take this. I won't be needing it anymore. Thank you, miss. <sighs> ah. Just call me rude. Wait. Is that Duke? My lady. Hello, Ruth. You two know yes. each other? Indeed. Ruth has been a friend for many moons. Patched my wounds a time or two. Huh. Oh. So Ruth is a friend now, is she? The way I tell it, I play more of the savior. Watching you crawl your way back from every hunt more beaten than the last. Tell me, friend. Where did the wind take you this time? Hunting about the wilds with no words to your allies? Hmm. Thank you, Hunter, for bringing this fool back to me. Please rest your legs here a bit. I need a moment to bandage Duke. I dare say he looks worse than I would have imagined. The floorboards creak as Root helps Duke limp out of sight. After a moment, their footsteps pause. Root screams, How do you mean he can't see? I knew Duke for years, but after all that happened, today I feel like he's a stranger to me. Did he kept it all a secret from me, or was it me not asking? And more importantly, what should I do next? Who entrusted me with the devil barrel shotgun? Unfortunately, it's damaged, so we need to craft it up. So that's uh, the last thing we're going to do over here. So let's go to our camp, and we're going to set up a, in a crafting wagon a task of crafting a double barrel shotgun. So we're going to add it to the queue. I'm actually going to do it... Uh, oh, let's do a harpoon launcher as well. Launch is a heavy harpoon that inflicts high piercing damage without making a sound. Ah, oh, it's still better than have the ritual ingredients. That would have been epic. Hitting from a distance without a sound. That's so good. Now, because we're going to do craft, we actually have to wait here a day. So we're going to let Robert craft because he's good at it. Arcus is going to guard and the rest of us are going to rest. Actually, I'm uh, Xemex could craft as well. I'm going to rest. Because the leader needs his sleep. <laughs> Let's wait a day. 
So we can hopefully finish the, the gun. Alright. Ooh, I got a weakness to curse. Curse minus one. And I'm also luckless. Scavenging guarding effectiveness minus 20%. Oh no. So this has happened as you get corruption. You will kind of get these kind of negative effects. So you kind of got to watch out for that. It's a bit unfortunate. But we got our double barreled shotgun. So I'm going to uh, confirm it. And I'm going to equip it to... There's one of us. I think it was Xemex who actually does not have a weapon. The, like he only has this hunting blade. Yeah, I think we're gonna switch it for... I think we're gonna leave him the hunting blade and we're gonna switch this... Wait, why can I... Yeah, we're gonna switch this for the double barrel shotgun. And we're gonna put the hunting blade as a small weapon instead. Now here are charms, like I said, you can only have... Uh... You, you cannot remove a charm, you can only replace it. Alright, so I think that's it for this episode. Let me know whether you want this to be a longer series. Don't forget to vote on that. And you can click on the right to watch some other turn-based combat games like Dead Monarchy or Mutant Year Zero. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.